What was it about the grunge movement that captured the angst and disillusionment of the 1990s so perfectly? The answer lies in the raw, heavy sounds of the bands that defined this era. In the heart of Seattle, Washington, a cultural revolution was brewing. It was here that the grunge movement was born, led by a collection of bands each distinct in their sound and influence. First came Mudhoney, emerging from the Seattle scene in the late 1980s, their raw, punk-influenced sound set the stage for what grunge would become. Their gritty aesthetic and unfiltered lyrics resonated with the growing disquiet of the time, encapsulating the ethos of grunge. Following closely was the Melvins. Their heavy, sludgy sound laid the groundwork for grunge, influencing countless bands that followed. They were pioneers pushing the boundaries of what was considered rock music at the time. Then, Nirvana burst onto the scene. Led by Kurt Cobain, they became perhaps the most iconic grunge band of the era. Their album, Nevermind, was a cultural touchstone, a defining moment not just for grunge, but for music as a whole. Around the same time, Pearl Jam was making waves with hits like Jeremy and Even Flow. Their success was monumental, marking them as one of the most enduring bands of the grunge era. Soundgarden, led by the powerful vocals of Chris Cornell, carved out their own space within the grunge scene. Their heavy sound and emotional depth added a new dimension to the genre. Alice in Chains stood out with their unique blend of metal and grunge. Their dark lyrics and distinctive harmony set them apart, creating a sound that was entirely their own. Even bands outside of Seattle were swept up in the grunge movement. California's Stone Temple Pilots found commercial success with their grunge-inspired rock, with hits like Plush and Interstate Love Song. Temple of the Dog, a tribute to late Mother Love Bone vocalist Andrew Wood, brought together members of Soundgarden and Pearl Jam. Their singular album became a defining piece of the grunge era. Screaming Trees brought a psychedelic, blues-infused take to grunge. Their success with songs like Nearly Lost You showcased the genre's diversity and breadth. Hole, fronted by Courtney Love, was a force to be reckoned with. Their raw punk energy combined with elements of grunge influenced the Riot Girl movement and left an indelible mark on the 90s music scene. These bands, among others, shaped the grunge genre. They captured the spirit of the 1990s, a time of angst, disillusionment, and a yearning for authenticity. Each band brought something unique to the table, contributing to the rich tapestry of grunge. Their influence can still be felt today, a testament to the enduring power of the grunge movement.